What a start. Welcome to Leap 23, your platform to leap into new worlds. And it was like yesterday when we celebrated Leap 22. Look at these defining moments. Last year, we celebrated more than 100,000 visitors. Guess what? This year, it's 225,000. We're talking about more than 1,500 innovators, entrepreneurs, and thinkers that are solving for issues of today, tomorrow, and the future. And more than $6.4 billion in announcements. And as my boss always reminds me, it's important to announce, but it's important to walk the talk. And we will show you today on stage how we're walking the talk on every announcement we made last year. This is all made possible under the leadership, guidance, and sponsorship of His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed bin Salman. And thanks to you, our global innovators and thinkers, we have by far in the 21st century created the largest, the fastest, and the highest tech movement. In this movement, we have seen last year on stage, my dear friend Amin al Nasser and his amazing team announce Prosperity 7, the largest green tech and climate tech investment in the world in 2022. And guess what? Amin and his team have delivered on their promise. They have deployed more than $600 million worth of investments into 30 companies, more than seven soon to about to be unicorns, and opened up five to six global offices in the kingdom, the US, and China. We saw my dear friend, Abu Khalid, the chairman of STC, and Aliyan Uteid, announced on stage the STC MENA Hub, a billion dollar investment. And guess what? You can see it today on their booth, in their booth, how they have built the Vision Fund and the EMC Fund in collaboration with Greece to reinforce that we are the interconnection of Europe, Africa, and Asia. We have seen Faisal Khamisi and EWTP with GNT and under the sponsorship of my dear friend, His Excellency Saleh al Jasser, the largest investment in logistics tech, a $2 billion investment. And look at these numbers. Thanks to data and AI, overnight they can scale from 33,000 parcels to more than 150,000 parcels a day. This is the power of talent and technology in logistics. Thanks to His Excellency Al Jasser. We have seen Alibaba Cloud open up for business. They started with five megawatts, and today they can scale to 24 megawatts worth of cloud capacity to fuel the innovation economy. We have seen Apple announce their sixth global academy to empower women. And can I get a big round of applause for all of the ladies in the room? And I have even better news for you on the ladies. They keep surprising us with pleasant surprises. We opened up the garage. Dr. Munir was here on stage. A 50-year-old historic old garage in the, in the center of Riyadh. And guess what? We made it into the garage of the future, graduating entrepreneurs. And these numbers, I keep telling Munir, are only the beginning because his target next year is to double or triple them. This one is really close to my heart and to your heart. The WIG 1000. Look at these images. You're talking about the largest and most audacious, under the sponsorship of His Royal Highness, Mr. Mohammed Salman, women empowerment and youth movement. And guess what? 80% of these women and youth are already employed. And this is only the beginning. Because under the leadership of His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, we're going to keep up the momentum in partnership with you. We're going to keep up the momentum of this tech movement 
to continue to be the largest, the highest, and the fastest digital economy and digital region. We're going to continue to double down to leverage the kingdom as a launch pad into the MENA region in partnership with our friends in Africa. And I want to big, give a bigger round of applause for all of their excellencies that are joining us from Africa today. We have strong ties with Africa. Our prophets have told us that Africa is the land of just kings. And this is how we see you forever. How we're leveraging, look at these numbers. We continue to grow. Last year, $40 billion. Today, it's at $42 billion. And it's the launch pad into $100 billion with our dear friends from GCC and MENA. And can I also have a big round of applause for them? Our brothers and sisters, Phil Khalid, Phil Mantika. This is our opportunity to unite, to leverage the $40 billion to capture $100 billion. But you know what? Our fair chance yesterday is a trillion dollars that we must capture by 2030. We're talking about gaming. His Royal Highness announced the gaming strategy. And already, His Royal Highness is moving at light speed. More than $38 billion investment in the gaming industry. And guess what? As a comparative advantage, look at these numbers. The KSA by far is the global leader in terms of gamers as a percentage of population. You're talking about the largest deployment of the virtual hospital. And can I get a big round of applause for Excessly Fahd Al Jalajil? Our health heroes are making history. One of the use cases, and I spoke about it a little bit in Davos, is the opportunity to help stroke patients avoid partial and full paralysis through reducing the time of door to needle from 60 minutes to 25 minutes. Very impressive, Your Excellency. And this one, you're all going to be proud about. You're talking about the highest concentration of tech talent into the region. 340,000, and you can see just a sample of them today. So a big round of applause for all of the innovators that we have within the kingdom and the region. And I said I'm going to thank the ladies again. Again, ladies, you keep giving us pleasant surprises. 32.5% women empowerment in tech. Thank you, Ahmed al Rajhi, for your partnership. This is amazing and historic, historic accomplishment. And I see next to you the, the Minister of Justice. I have to talk about the justice. Thank you so much for becoming the global showcase in tech justice globally. Thank you, Your Excellency. This is amazing, amazing news. Let's talk about the fastest growing digital economy. And let's use the VC funding as a proxy of growth. You're talking about 72% year-over-year growth, surpassing the billion-dollar mark. But more importantly, it's about consistency. As you are our innovators and investors have said, you have to be predictable. You have to be consistent. 75% CAGR over the past four years. You're talking about the fastest-growing segment. And if the Minister of Health, you know, Finance was here and the head of Central Bank, thank you so much for becoming one of the top 10 fastest fintech hubs globally, 167%. And in terms of digital government, and I see all of our fellow colleagues, ministers, here's the Vice Minister of Interior, Sadaya, all of the great colleagues that we have together, you've helped us move from red tape to red carpet by becoming third globally in GovTech. Thank you so much. Ali Abu Abdul Aziz, Dawood, Akhil Ghamdi. Amazing, amazing, amazing news. And we said to you that this is only the beginning. Because this year, my team, I gave them a 20% target over 6.4. And guess what? They delivered today $9 billion worth of investments. And next year, Rabbi Ahyana, we my team will come on the stage and once again we'll have the private sector demonstrate to you in the exhibition how we're walking the talk his royal highness always tell me we're not in the business of announcements but we are in the business of walking the talk and let me share with you two facts 
If you look at 2022, the top 10 companies in terms of tech and digital market cap, and actually an average of market cap, two surprising facts. The one, eight out of the 10 top 10 companies are actually tech and digital companies. But guess what? Seven out of the eight all have major investments into academies, innovation centers, cloud and sorting centers in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia to use them as the launch pad into the region. And let's begin with our major announcements. And guess what? I'm going to give you just the tip of the iceberg because we're going to have the private sector go on to stage and give you the details. We're talking about Aramco announcing one of the soon to be the largest digital companies in the green economy, the climate tech economy, and how we could safeguard the planet with Aramco Digital. Thank you so much, my dear friend Amin. And can I get a big round of applause for Aramco, the largest energy company in the world, moving at light speed in tech and digital. We're gonna have Aramco come on stage to announce to you that Microsoft Azure is coming into town with a $2.1 billion announcement. And let's leave the details to the private sector because we walk the talk. Oracle, thank you from the bottom of my heart. One of the earlier investments in cloud and you keep putting the, you know, the foot on the gas because we still love gas. $1.5 billion worth of investments into cloud. HP, this one is under embargo. So they told me that they're gonna share with you the details but it's going to be huge in the next couple of days. Meta, for the first time, bringing their Metaverse Academy into the MENA region, touching more than a thousand lives, women and youth, into the next evolution of the internet. And many more investments, $9 billion, and you can always hold us accountable because we're going to come back on the stage and walk the talk on each one of them because the secret that these investments are made by you the private sector, the innovators, and the investors. This has fueled an ecosystem of entrepreneurship. Look at these logos. They're all represented here in the exhibition. And you're talking about one of the leading entrepreneurs in health tech, fintech, agri-tech, logistics tech, and fintech, and everything tech to power up the innovation economy of the kingdom and the region. This could not be made possible without your sponsorship. So a big applause to all of our strategic sponsors today. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. We only can do it in partnership with you. And before I conclude on how Leap 23 is gonna be your opportunity to leap into new world, I'll ask to be excused from my international audience to address my team in Arabic. بدعم وتوجيه من سمو سيدي ولي العهد أصبحت اليوم الرياض العاصمة التقنية الأولى في المنطقة وقريبا العاصمة العالمية شكرا من القلب أنكم صنعتم يوم الوطن وسنة شعبنا العظيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته